Hey there people of YouTube, this is another tutorial on quarries, and this one is on another way of powering your quarry uh, while still using electricity, uh, and if you don't know how to power a quarry with electricity in the newest versions right now, then you should click on my minimap, that will bring you to another one of my videos that shows you how to power a quarry with electricity in the latest version of TechIt. So, now that we have that out of the way, those of you that do know how to, uh, I'm going to show you a way to power your quarry with geothermal power. And for that, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need a geothermal generator, of course. I'm just going to plop that down right here. You're going to need some glass fiber cable. I'll show you how to make that. Uh, there. Oh. Fairly simple. So let's connect those. You're going to need some waterproof teleportation pipe and just normal normal waterproof pipe. I'll show you how to make those. Okay. And then some of these. Pretty simple. Now we're going to just want one out of the back and then the teleportation pipe. And we're going to want to... Oh, we're going to want to make sure that this one's frequency is set up correctly, so I'm going to put it on 1, and I'm going to turn that to true, that way it can receive items. That's very important. Now I'm going to go down my little hole where I found a little lava field. And I've already got this set up. You're going to need some redstone engines, and I'll show you how to make those. Okay. And then you're also going to need some redstone torches, which I forgot to put in my inventory. So let's grab those real fast. And I'm assuming that you already know how to make those. So we'll just turn this on. Let's make sure this is hooked up correctly. Oh, we need that on one. It takes a second for these to get going, but uh, once they get going, they'll produce uh, a lot of lava. And we can see down here, it's sucking it out. And I'll just skip to where there's lava inside the tube. Okay, now we've got lava. It's going up, going through the pipe. Now I'll just clip to where I'm at the top. Okay, here we are. I don't see any lava inside there, but it is running. Looks like, oh, there it is. The lava's coming in. We, it's making power. Apparently my game's glitching out, but it's making power. Obviously going into the bat box. And look at that thing go. Now this will last for a while. Uh, it's not like solar, solar panels where at night you don't get any power and you hope that you have enough inside your bat box. I could probably even run this directly and it'd be okay. You do want a fairly large lake of lava. I've heard that you can do it in the nether, but I've never been able to get it to work. And apparently my texture packs, patch is glitching out. I'm going to today daytime. Oh, that's better. Uh, so you can try that in the nether, just using teleportation pipe. You don't have to use a teleportation pipe. You can just use this normal pipe if you want to use a ton of it and wait forever for your stuff to get there. But, yeah, hey, that's up to you. Uh, if you like this video, Please like and subscribe, and if you have any other video suggestions, then please comment, and I will be sure to read them and do my best to fill those videos or those video requests. I'll see you guys later. Bye.